November 2nd, um, upper uh, Detroit Lake on the upper Sandy M. You see what's going on here. It's hard to imagine that they're doing this to try and save the salmon. <clears throat> they're doing a major rebuild on the inflow and the outflow flow of, of Detroit Lake. There's a gigantic reservoir in Oregon. It uh, is above Salem, gets the, sal the drinking water for Salem, Oregon. But um, they're spending, I'm sure they, pro they uh, started this project on paper over 10 years ago, pre-Fukushima. <clears throat> they're spending over $100 million. This is the Sandy Am River you're looking at, the Upper Willamette. They're spending over $100 million to try and uh, allow fish escapement down over the dam and up over the dam. Again, this was probably done before pre-Fukushima. Pre the fact of the matter is there's no fish in the river. Uh, what they say is called, what they call the pasture is dead. It's just still no, not a single person at ODFW or any of the people involved are acknowledging that, that the situation with the ocean. And uh, the fact that, you know, the, there's 300 gray whales, the anchovies are sardines and the herring are all collapsed. Uh, but they're going ahead. I guess everybody's going to get paid. Uh, spending all this money drawing this reservoir down. You can just see it. It's just, uh, you know, I love salmon. People love salmon. Nobody's just come to terms with the reality of the situation. It's Tim Martin, part of Kevin Blanche's Post Ignorance Project.